Okay, um, good evening everyone, this is Pastor Sandra, I'm just motivated to give a heads up with reference to um, the events in London, as at 2.40pm yesterday there was yet again another massacre unwelcome, surprising, unprovoked. Um, there were fatalities. And um, just when you think they cannot sink low, they sink yet again lower still. Now, what we have decided to do is um, continue to recognize the fact that the city of London is a very special city. It has faced a number of um, attacks in the past and whether we like it or not, it continues to remain a prime target for um, terrorists. Uh, it would seem to be the case that um, London adds a feather to the cap of terror and yesterday as at 2.40 p.m. what we had in essence was a carnage um, lives were lost as at um, today I hear four lives a policeman minding his own protecting um, the public minding his own business father of two 48 year old policeman died. A woman, the pictures have been quite horrific, was flung into the River Thames by this car that careered off, um, driven by a madman, because you have to be mad to contemplate what he did. Um, the whole of London woke up to quite a different city. This morning everywhere, police gone totting, you know, MI5, MI6, Secret Service, they were everywhere. They were like ants in the city today. The point is, more than ever, we Christians need to understand that um, the Holy Spirit who vomited out Psalms, such as Psalm 91, knew what he was doing. It was to prepare us. Thousands of years ago, he vomited them out. And the whole essence of the psalm, um, Psalm 91, you know, we that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord is our refuge and our fortress, our God. In him shall we trust. Surely he shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover us with his wings and under his... The feathers, he shall cover us with his feathers and under his wings shall we trust his truth shall be our shield, our buckler. We shall not be afraid for the ten thousand at our right and the, for the thousand on our right and ten thousand on our left. You know, that psalm, the, 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 the most poignant part of that psalm, the whole of that psalm is just, it's, 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 it's wonderful. But poignancy particularly in view of what happened yesterday is when he says, in the psalm I one that God shall give his angels charge over us you know uh, to keep us in our ways that the angels of the most high God will not allow our feet uh, to strike stones now if there's any psalm that you need to know in this day it's psalm um, psalm 91 that is going to be the um, main cornerstone of this special session we're having tonight. I've decided to hold a special session tonight, um, I believe 9 p.m., 9 p.m. Um, on Facebook Live, specifically to address the fact that more than ever, Christians need to know how to pray, particular prayer points such as, my father, my father, I reject being at the wrong place at the wrong time. The people that were on Westminster Bridge 
if they had known there was going to be a bomb, no, not bomb, they were going to, there was going to be a, a killer out to take as many lives. He must have known he was going to be shot dead. There's no way in that part of London you're going to run amok and not know that the police are come to get you. I mean, for crying out loud, the secret service, that's where MI5 is, that's where MI6 is, that's where the Metropolitan Police, the best elite corps, that's where they are, you know, not ordinary policemen, but policemen who, um, the best of the best, the best in the world, you know? There's no way this guy would have attacked Westminster, uh, thinking he would escape alive. He knew he was going to die. And that's where Christians need to come in, you know, more than ever, you need to know that the enemy that you're fighting is an audacious enemy. The enemy that you're fighting doesn't give a damn. The enemy that you are fighting to finish you and stuff, snuff you out and doesn't care. what the, the enemies that we fight have actually sold their souls to Satan. The enemies that we fight have a problem with us fulfilling destiny. You know, when it's time to fulfill your destiny, my dear brother, my dear sister, do not take anybody who wants to stop you. Do not take them for granted. Do not sit down there and lie fallow. Do not be mown down the way those people were on Westminster Bridge yesterday. Enough, I say enough. Now, me, I don't know about you, but as for me, I will achieve this day. And I know that there are people watching me whose intentions also are to, to be able to make, meet destiny, make destiny, fulfill destiny. So therefore, I know you are going to be able to join me tonight as we just handle that single prayer point. You know, and it's a communion service, communion of preservation. May we not leave our house and have people who are, there are people that are looking to die. There are people who are tired of living. There are people who have given up. There are people who have nothing to live for. In the name of Jesus, neither you or I, or I, will be found among us. So there are people that wait until five o'clock and then decide to go and kill themselves in front of the train. My brother, my sister, that the times are getting very, very dangerous. I don't know what time is going to be in the United States, um, Charlene, because in America you have three time zones. You have the East Coast time zone, you have Central time zone, and then you have the Californian side. There are three time zones, but there are, uh, there are apps Google and type, you know, what's the time in whatever state of America you are in with UK 9 p.m. This special meeting is for UK 9 p.m. Where, wherever you're watching me from, if you are not in the United Kingdom, uh, I need you to go and enter into Google and ask the question, you know, when it's 9 p.m. in the UK, what is the time at my own end? And then you can go and find out what time is going to be at your own end, you know. There are three time zones in America. I don't know what time your own time zone will be. No. The fact of the matter is you and I more than ever need to know that we cannot leave our house without pleading the blood of Jesus. We cannot leave our house and just wonder whether you live in Brazil, whether you live in Portugal, whether you live in all that you can. The days of just leaving your house without prayer when truly over. At the very least, if there is one psalm you need to know, it's Psalm 91, the psalm of protection. If there's one communion you need to have, it's the communion of preservation. That's what we're doing tonight. I invite you men, I invite you women, I invite you Christians, I invite you Muslims, I invite you Hindu, I invite you Jain. First of all, you come. Oh, I thank you, my name. Yeah. I thought it was 9.30. 9.30 tonight, it's on the Facebook Live session where I will be um, leading us to pray for the city of London. Whether we like it or not, London is under attack. It could be anybody. They could have gone to Surrey. They could have gone to North London. They could have gone to Canary Wharf. They could have gone to um, uh, Mill Hill. They could have gone to Camberwell. But they chose to do their business, to take lives on Westminster Bridge. There were school children that saw this guy killing people. There were mothers that saw this guy killing people. A police officer lost his life. Three innocent people.
who did not leave their house yesterday with the intention of dying and no longer with have died. Now I encourage you, I encourage you, 9.30 p.m. UK time, I want you to tune in to Dr. Jesus a Facebook live session. The theme is my father, my father, um, I refuse to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. And that's our prayer. 2017 has just started. We will not be at the wrong place at the wrong time, my fellow brothers and sisters. We will not find ourselves, you know, face to face with people who are ready to move. They, there are people who are walking about and well, whose lives have finished. People who have nothing to live for. There are, and that's why you have to be mind, very careful. When you leave your house, those of you that like to fight, when you leave your house and you just go and start fighting, and you have to be careful. There are people that when you just blow on them, not even punch them, if you blow some people, they're waiting to die. Don't be the one that's responsible for killing other people equally. Don't be the one whose life is taken like a chicken. Don't be a person who... Your family, my family must not hear that we died on Westminster Bridge in Jesus' name. These people who died yesterday, they've not fulfilled their destiny. I don't care what anybody is saying. Because when you look at the details, the name of who died and how they died, they didn't fulfill their destiny. And I'm sure if they had known that yesterday was going to be their last time on earth, trust me, you know, they would have, they, 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 they would have been better. They would have prepared more, you know. Let's give God glory. Let's give God praise. Let's give him praise that we are still alive. Let's thank him because we are not going to be prey to the enemy. I want you to share this video to everybody. Number one is the communion of the church. Number two, the single prayer point is my father, my father, I will not be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Not be at the wrong place at the wrong time means A, you will not be in the wrong place at all, number one. Not being at the wrong place at the wrong time means people will not lure you to where you not go to, number two. Not being at the wrong place at the wrong time also means that you will not be at the right place at the wrong time. You see? There are several permutations of that. In the mighty name of Jesus, untimely death, absolutely cheating my darling, untimely death is not my portion and your portion. God bless you, Sam Duru, for sharing. And bless you all. Share the video. I want the world. And this thing happened in London. It could have happened in China. It could have happened in Trinidad. It could have happened in Caicos. It could have happened in Ghana. It could have happened in Pra. I am in the middle of the London and beauty. You know, why would somebody who is bored, 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 leave the house and want to can take lives here? I've got no problem with people who want to take their own lives. It's a sin, but you only better one dies than ten people die. So my brothers, my sisters, let us assemble tonight. Tonight is when we will brand ourselves at the order of Galatians 6, 17, where Apostle Paul goes, let no man drop me upon my sick man. You know, I wear the mark of Jesus Christ. Listen, and put the mark of Jesus Christ on our voice. We are not available to be wasted. Yes, we must reject. God, God bless you for asking for me. All of you who act about our welfare, those of you who check that app, uh, acknowledging that wherever you are in the city of London, world over, that you were safe. God bless you. And that technology makes it easy. Now, the days of just, you know, you, you, you wait until 10 days, only until you hear, you know, uh, the, uh, the fate of anybody. Those days are over. Let's give God the glory for technology that made it possible. So, the city of London is a city that's already dedicated to God. He will go from glory to glory. He will achieve its place in destiny. Some of the greatest minds in Christendom have come from the city of London. I read, neither you or I will belong to the wrong time. Neither you or I will be at the right at the wrong time. Neither you or I shall be lured by children of the devil, people who are ready to die into the wrong place. We reject that in Jesus' name. So tonight, please come. Let us come together. Let us pray together. Let us support one another. Let's make sure that we are not casualties of the kingdom of darkness. Let's make 
sure that whoever wants to die is on their own head, minus you, minus me, in Jesus' name. Let's come together. You know, London is a beautiful city. London is a world-class city. A number of us who live here are very happy with the city. A number of us who live in the UK are happy with the city. A number of people, are, it's their life's ambition to come to London. Let's give God the glory because, you know, they say, one man's meat is another one's poison. If you're tired of London, please carry your bag and go back to uh, uh, Syria. Go back to Libya. If you know, people are not ready to die. So also going to stand in guard with the city. It's a beautiful city. There are Christians here. Let's pray for our fellow Christians and brothers. Because they do not become suya. The kingdom of the devil. Let's pray that when people leave, when daddy, when daddy Kola leaves home and waves bye-bye to his son, his son know that he's going to come back to his house and he will see daddy again. You're right, Susan. You know, I mean, our feet lead us to the right feet. We are going to use the communion touch our feet today. May our feet not lead us to, 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 to our death. We are going to use communion and touch our ears. Some of those people who, were, who died, and among the 40, 50 people who were injured and in hospital all along, somebody would have called them the phone and said, Oh, yeah, come, come and meet me by Westminster. May we not hear the voice of those that will kill us, those that will lead to our death, in Jesus' name. So I am come. Come. London needs you. Let's stand in God for the city of London. It's the best city in the world. We give God the glory that this is where we are from. London is control is better still children of God. We are exempted from the wolves 2017. It has only started. That disaster is minus you and minus me. In Jesus' name, amen. So, see you guys later. 9.30 UK time. If you are not sure what 9.30 means in your own time, I would encourage you to go to Google, run a search, and then see what time it is. If you are outside of the Greenwich Mean Time or London uh, Winter Time, which is the time that's still guiding us. God bless you, Deborah. God bless you, Laura. God bless you, Duke. God bless you, Dawn. God bless you, Chidima. And then I see you. Good evening. You're very welcome. Uh, Susan Marsh, darling, good evening. I see some great men and women of God. Dawn, good evening, my darling. Mary May, good evening. Good evening to you all. Join me later as we pray for the city of London. Join me later as we join our faith together. You know? I give God the glory for what he is doing. I give God praise. Um, I continue to give him glory. I continue to give God. Look how beautiful my city is. How wonderful my city is. How glorious my city is. You know, why would anybody want to come back? You know, the power of life is God. So, what do you like me to come and make a mincemeat of the souls in London? They continue to build, continue to take the victory to the in Jesus' name. New Denim's plan, brother. They are officing a trophy. They continue to pride the enemy of joy. Look at that. See that beautiful building. See how wonderful it is. Why would anybody want to come to London and destroy a beautiful city? The hand of God is over and done for what he is doing. So yes, come. And uh, let's read and come. And let's all join one another in prayer.